So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, again, the first step that we want to make sure we do is make sure that we get rid of our square roots. Well, in this case, fortunately, there's really not much that Seth had to do, but I can just square both sides. So x plus the square root of x plus 2 squared is just going to be x plus 2. And then x minus 18 is just, again, a perfect square trinomial. So therefore, that's going to be x squared minus 36x. And then 18 times 18 was 324? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's going to be positive 324. Now, again, this is a quadratic, so therefore I have to subtract x, and I have to subtract 2. So I have 0 equals x squared minus 36x plus 322. 37, thank you. I forgot to do that. All right, so we'll look at this problem and say, ooh, this does not look like fun to factor, right? Well, so the main important thing when factoring this is I would just start listing out the factors and see where we get. And I don't, so if I have 322, the first factor would be 322 times 1. And I always start with my largest you know, factor, 322 times 1. Then I'd say, well, what about 2? I know 2 divides into this, right? 2 would divide into that uh, 161, right? Well, can I divide 161 divided by 2 again? Yeah. No, you can't. So therefore, I know it's not divisible by 4. What about divisible by 3? Does 3 divide into that? No, 4 doesn't go. We know 5 doesn't go, right? Is 6 divisible? No. 6 isn't divisible. Um, 7, I don't believe there's anything. It's at 42, so it could be. Is 7 divisible? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. How many times? 46, so I have 46 times 7. What about 8? No. 9? No. 10, we know. 11, um, no. 12. 13, 14, so what's 14? 14, what? Oh, huh. I don't even need to keep on going because, ooh, I know that those two do what? add up to give you negative 37. So again, guys, you, I mean, you have your calculator. Just keep on working up and down the list. right? Start at 1, and then keep on going. So now I can factor this to x. I know that they both have to be negative. Minus 14 times x minus 23. Now I apply the zero product property. x minus 14 equals 0, and x minus 23 equals 0 x equals 14, x equals 23. We still need to make sure we go ahead and check our answers. So let's plug in 14. 14 plus 2 is 16. The square root of 16 is 4. 14 minus, eight, or 14 minus 18 is negative 4. So this is extraneous. Let's check 23. 23 plus 2 is? 25, square root of 25 is 5. 23, um, 23 minus 18? 5. five. So that answer works. Okay. What I'd like you guys to do before you go to lunch, please, 